Welcome everyone. I'm Tammy and thank you for stopping by Creative Girl Vintage today because I have a paper crafting butterfly bundle for you. So this is a kit that um, I've been working on it all week. I finally got it put together and I'm going to tell you what's in it, where you can get it, and I'll show you how easy it is to craft these beautiful butterflies. And we're going to be using vintage paper as well. And then I'm going to share with you some project ideas so you can show off your butterflies and make some beautiful things for the people that you love. So let me grab the goods and let's get started. All right, let's take a peek inside this butterfly bundle. So first we have the butterfly sheet. Um, in my photo editing program, I made this using, I, I scanned floral fabric, I scanned roses from vintage greeting cards, I had vintage butterfly images, and I pulled this all together to make six large butterflies for you and three baby ones. And just to note, this is on a printed on a card stock that's a little bit lighter weight than you guys are used to getting from me, but it just worked better for this application. Next in the bundle, we have 12 vintage dictionary pages. This came from a 1942 Boys and Girls Dictionary. And here I made a little sheet of little favorite words and sayings because I thought this was so cute to tuck inside the wings of our butterfly on these dictionary pages. So cute how that turned out. So this is what's inside of the bundle. The bundle is available in my Etsy shop. The link to my shop is below. So let me clear this out of the way, get some supplies out, and let's make some butterflies. All right, let's make butterflies. These are so sweet and easy, you guys. Okay, on our butterfly sheet, I'm going to pick out a butterfly, and I'm going to pick out this pink floral one right here. And I'm going to cut around him. Now, I'm not fussy cutting. I am just going around in roughly cutting around, leaving the white. So I've got something that looks like this, okay? Now at this point, we have a butterfly that has a stark white cardstock back. And you know what, you guys, we can do better than that, you know? Grab something to cover your surface. Let's flip that over. I'm going to grab a Distress Ink, and this one is called Worn Lipstick. Okay, I've got a couple we're going to use today, but I thought this would be pretty since our butterfly's pink. And let's just ink this up, and nothing special here. I'm just going to go around and just add pink to the back of this butterfly cutout here. And it's already looking way better than just a piece of white paper. Okay, and then if you want to kick it up a notch, I found, didn't even, I can't even remember I had it. I had a rubber stamp here that was a dictionary page. And I'm just gonna grab a little bit of ink and just stamp the back of this. And isn't that way better? You know, so that's just going to look so much better than plain cardstock. Now, let me show you another one I have here real quick, just so you can see it in another color. Just cut out another butterfly here. This is called Broken China. Supplies I'm using today, I'll link them below in case you're looking for them. And let's just put some beautiful blue on the back of this one. So pretty. And um, this was another rubber stamp that I had. It's like some sort of random polka dots. I want to stick it on that broken china. Ah, is that darling? Okay, so the back of that looks really pretty. So much better than white cardstock. Agree? Okay. All right. Okay, so we got that out of the way. The next thing we're going to do is take out our dictionary pages. I'm going to count out four of them. I use four behind each one of these butterflies. So there's basically, um, it's layered like five pieces. You can use less if you want. It's just totally up to you. 
and move him out of the way. And so I'm going to lay my butterfly right here. And, uh, you know, I just don't put him up here. So there's, you know, around the pages, there's, um, there's no, uh, words. So, um, I'm just going to lay him right here. So there's words back there on all of the different layers. Okay. And you'll see if you do that, you have this left over here. There's room for another butterfly and a lot of extra room down here for your baby butterflies. So there's plenty of paper for you to use. Okay, there's two different ways we can go about this, all right? The first way I'm gonna show you, this is done with a sewing machine. What I did here was went over to my sewing machine and sewed up one side and then sewed up the other side of the body of the butterfly and what was so cute with this is I got left over I had these extra strings for my butterfly antennas so I thought that worked out really well let me just grab my cutter bees here and then we're gonna cut this out and since this is sewn in the middle it's all held together beautifully and it's easy just to go around and cut if you don't have a sewing machine, don't worry about it because we're going to do the one that we glue next. You know, these butterflies, they're, they're really nothing new. I mean, some of you have already made them, may have already made them. I remember making a garland using these a long time ago. But I thought today I'd just kind of put together a little bundle. I know you guys always tell me how much you love having a little crafting kit. And follow along with the video and uh, make something beautiful. So I hope you enjoy this. And I've got some cute projects to show you too. So these butterflies are going to be put to good use. Okay, so there we go. And you see we can do a little fold. And fold the paper up a little. And see how much better that looks when we finish the back of that. Fold your paper. And... How pretty, right? A little fluffy, little fluffy butterfly right there. Okay, so now get rid of this. All right, now don't have a sewing machine? No worries. I'm going to be using the Fabri Fix glue today to put this one together. But before we glue, here's what we're going to do: stack this up all nice and neat. Okay. Put your thumb on here and hold it down good. This is the, the, this one's a little trickier because you've gotta be very mindful of holding this together. So if you need to move, just take a second to reposition your finger where it needs to be just so you can keep this held together. Your finger is now a big paper clip. I really like the one from the sewing machine, but you know, not everybody has a sewing machine, so we got to have a plan B here. Okay, I think I slid a little bit. Let's see. All right, all right, keep my finger on there. You're not moving, buddy. Not on my watch. Okay. Get around that little head. Holding it tight. All right. There we go. There he is. Okay, let's grab the glue. I like the Fabrifix better for this um, instead of the hot glue because this gives you a few seconds to reposition if necessary. All right, let's grab this. We'll lay it right on there. We're just gluing the body. And now uh, also is a good time that if you want to um, ink up 
any of these dictionary pages or um, if you want to hit them with a little bit of a rubber stamp, anything like that. This is a good time because everything is like laying there flat. Okay, um, keep in mind these dictionary pages are, um, they're a little fragile, they're a little lightweight, so just be gentle with them, you know, when you're using your, your ink. Okay. All right. Just leave that right there. Put something down here, you guys, so I don't make my table any messier than it already is. Okay, we got another one to go. Let's get our glue. And lay that one on. And one more. Let's put it right here. I think somehow my hole in my glue bottle expanded and wants to really pour out of there. And there we go. All right, I would suggest letting this letting this dry for a few seconds there. Now this one here, the one that we had sewn, I definitely feel that I've got to get the tea dye out here. Look how easy that was to put the butterflies together. Whether you're sewing or gluing, at this point I would make sure it's good and dry. Just fold that cardstock layer right over. Give it a little bit of dimension. And you can fold these little pages kind of that direction, this direction. Like I said, kind of be gentle with these. They're delicate little pages, little vintage pages. Okay, Let's see? Aren't those just the sweetest? Super fast, right? Okay, so what do we got here? Hold on, let's get our words out. How about, let's go with Simply Blessed. And at this point, too, of course, these are on the white cardstock as well. You know, feel free. You can get out your inks or color these up a little bit so they look a little bit better. And I'm just going to take my hot glue. and I'm just going to put a tiny little dot right there and stick that right there because that's a nice fast grab with that hot glue. Okay, blessed, I'm thinking maybe right there, right on that little page right there. So you can flip through and see the little words. Now, isn't that sweet? Now, you can decorate these with so many things. Um, I'm gonna move this stuff away. I'm gonna bring out some projects. I'm gonna show you what I did and how I decorated these butterflies. All right, I want to share a few projects and ideas and that you can do with your butterflies. So this one here, this is really the simplest one of all. I just took a needle and thread. I went through the butterfly head and tied it off and made a loop. And I started out, I put a couple of these on hanging from a chandelier in the dining room and they just look so cute. So then I hung one from the wreath of my front door and then I have an apron, a little vintage apron in my kitchen with some flowers in the pocket and I hung one off there. And so yeah, I've got butterflies hanging all over my house right now, but I don't mind because they really are sweet and they make me smile when I see them. This one is called Butterfly Kisses. I did a lot of the blue um, ink on this one. I thought it turned out really pretty. And I also 
grabbed a little bit. I had some metallic gold paint and I took my paintbrush and I just went around the edges of the butterfly just for a little bit of embellishment there. So that's a super easy one. This one here is so cute. This is one of those fillable plastic ornaments, you know, you find around Christmas time. And a lot of times when I see them, I'll grab them up because you just use them throughout the year for like all kinds of things. I just added some excelsior in the back. There's a little like green grass back there. I put the mini butterfly in there. And from the saying sheet, I put have faith, greater things are on the way. And I trimmed it in a little bit of vintage lace. I've got a bow here. A gold hanger and this would be so pretty like hanging in the kitchen window with the light coming through and also this makes a really pretty gift maybe a friend that's going through a hard time or even this would make a beautiful like nature Christmas ornament too so this is a good idea for that this one here I think I think this is probably my favorite let me show you how I put this one together so I started with your basic little small terracotta pot nothing special I, I think I even found it at the flea market and um, I watered down some chalk paint like 50 50 water and white chalk paint did two coats let it dry in between took a little sandpaper to it and I think the finish came out really pretty I had a rubber stamp put number two on there even without the rubber stamp it's totally sweet and so inside, I glued in just a little bit of foam down in there. And this is a little bit of Excelsior. And I think it's like a um, paper shred. It's a little fine paper shred. I put that down in there too. And then I took my butterfly and laid my butterfly right on there and grabbed a pretty hat pin and popped it in right there into that star foam. This is um, P.S. I love you. So this makes a really sweet gift like for mom or, oh, I love you. That's such a beautiful one. And by the way, these hat pins, let me show you this, you guys. So I was on Amazon. I don't know what I was searching for. And this was a set that came together of these long hat pins, this crystal one, these pretty pink pearls and the white pearls. And I grabbed them for my craft room. I'll link them below for you. Um, I just, it's just one of those things you have on hand and you're just happy that you do. You know, I, I was looking at this and like, I don't want to really glue that into the pot. And then I was like, oh, I got those hat pins. So, you know, you just, you just, it's so nice to have like a variety of fun little things to work with. So this is, this is special. I love this one. So this one here is, um, a beautiful little tag and, I put in the back of your bundle, by the way, behind your butterfly sheet is a piece of this heavy cardstock. So you can make some tags out of that. And I took some of the dictionary paper, covered it. This is like a piece of old lace, a snip of old fabric, some vintage buttons, seam binding ribbons, some lace. And um, this one's really pretty with the, um, I added little rhinestones on here. And so I noticed that this said, well, I, I really didn't plan this, but the A, I somehow I lined it right up. It said the first letter of the alphabet, but A also means, um, A is for Aubrey, my granddaughter. And so this butterfly became simply blessed because I couldn't be more blessed to have such a beautiful granddaughter that I am so proud of. So I think that Miss Aubrey is going to uh, receive this next time she comes over for a visit. So these are some sweet little ideas you guys that you can do with your butterflies or you know you can do like me you can just like hang them all over your house because you know they just look so cute so thank you so much for hanging out with me today and uh, it's it's always fun when we get to craft together and um, if you have um, other ideas for ways to use the butterflies please leave them for us in the comments so we could share our ideas that's always a good thing and uh, I wish you guys the best day and I I will see you for our next creative project.